It's Saturday, the 14th of December in the year 2019, and I'm about to start making, having made a video project of this gallery. This gallery is in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and I've rented the space for the month of December to show my artwork that was clogging up my house. The artwork was in my basement, and nobody was seeing it, and I rented this gallery space in order to show my work. Uh, this painting I just titled Bus Stop because of the yellow, but it's a compilation of uh, shards of paint from Stratospheric Universe, which I painted on my front yard in the year 2017, which was photographed by, by a drone. This painting is, to me, one of my most important paintings. I painted it with the emotion of extreme anger. I was extremely angry. I was as angry as I could possibly be. And I painted it in May, I think it was May of 2018. Now this painting is on canvas that came from Stratospheric Universe when it was blown apart by the Christmas storm of 2017. And um, the origin of that canvas was from my original Satellite Art for Extraterrestrials project. We're all from other planets and we were created. We were created. Well, I think I'm from Earth. What matters is this Cinderella slipper that I stuck in the middle of the painting. That came off of a keychain that a friend of mine gave me, who I was also very angry with at the time that I painted this painting. I was extremely angry with her, but I mean, I'm since friends with her again, and that does happen in female friendships. They can come and go. The Cinderella slipper in the middle signifies that uh, the female form represented by the Cinderella slipper will always survive. So uh, nothing can destroy, the, the nuclear warhead could not destroy the Cim Cinderella slipper. And it also could not destroy, this is a, a computer chip. I put that in there. I hate computers, I hate them. But I know they're, necess they're necessary. So this is an object of decoration for women, and that's an object of use for men. Consumption. 
this painting is titled My Grandfather's Window, and it came from my grandfather's house in Jordan Bay, which he bought in 1955, Howard Walden. And he, it was on the back of a spice rack in his kitchen that he, he made, that he built the spice rack, and that the house is falling down, and I did take the spice rack off the wall, and this was the backing of the spice rack. It created this window-like pattern from the old paint, and I added the um, acrylic, latex acrylic pouring medium with more shards from Stratospheric Universe. And I just called it my grandfather's window. The room back here in the gallery um, I don't I don't have a name for it but the paintings back here are a little bit perhaps um, somebody might call them off color but I wouldn't call them that the subject of love versus hate uh, not that I, I don't see I don't see the opposites of colors in here though red is the opposite of blue um, it was painted at a time when I, I was thinking about having a love-hate relationship. What, and what does it mean to have a love-hate relationship? The one in the middle is titled reconciliation and I was thinking of the reconciliation of opposites and the the J red configuration is an element of force uh, I don't know what else to say about that I I I don't know what else to say about that painting an element of force the uh, the red J shape This painting I titled, Fuck This Shit. Now, it does show the beginnings uh, underneath of a ballet dancer's legs, and I wanted to be a ballet dancer when I was a child, and I love ballet. I love the beauty of ballet. It's to a totally feminine symbol, uh, but the, the, the blackness of it um, just, um, the, the blackness of the objects against the pink is like a, um, I'm, I'm, stum I'm stumbling on my words for this. Um, not more than an interruption, more than an interruption. Um, the, ti the title, I mean, the, I, that you, title a you title a piece of work if you don't know what else you're gonna say about it. You're supposed to say whatever you want to say primarily in the title, so that's the title. There's a room in the back here which the landlord thought I wasn't even going to use but I've put it to very good use. It houses all the memorabilia from my World Trade Center painting, Self-Organizing Galaxy, which I did in 1984 on the roof of number five World Trade Center. The room contains the storyline of the inception of that idea um, and the press releases, the write-ups, the, f the photographs. Like 
Because I don't believe in all bad. No. Because no. I don't believe in all bad. No. no. Hello. Here I am in my house, an hour away from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. And as you can see, I've used up almost every square inch of my living room walls with my artwork. I have more down in my basement studio. And I'm just wondering where else I might show my work in the future. But for now, I have this video, and I'm very pleased with it. And, I'm, and thank you for watching it. Thank you.